Alrighty, so I'm back with another unboxing video. Um, as you can tell in the box, this is going to be the Shit Audio Bimbi or Bifrost Multi-Bit. Um, for those of you who don't know about Shit's recent journey into the multi-bit technology, um, basically the multi-bit, I guess, branding kind of indicates that Shit Audio is using their uh, resistor ladder DAC. So usually a typical DAC will have what's called a Delta Sigma modulation um, method of decoding your digital data into an analog um, form. Uh, so basically what that does is it takes your PCM files to so your 16, 44.1 uh, CD quality audio or something similar and it converts it into a multi-bit um, Signal. So instead of 16 bits, it's going to be maybe 2 to 5 bits. And then instead of the 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate, it's going to oversample that, say, 128 times that amount. Um, so basically, it will convert it into a somewhat similar DSD signal. And then that will apply some filters, and eventually you'll get an analog signal out of that. What's special about this multi-bit technology is that it's actually an older technology uh, that predates the Delta Sigma modulation technology that uses a really simple kind of uh, circuit. So this is what's called a resistor ladder. Um, you can see that there's a whole bunch of resistors here. Basically, your whole digital to analog conversion is done with these resistors. Uh, so it's called a R to 2R DAC because you have one R there and a two R there, so a resistor of twice that value. Um, so basically, your digital signal will be put fed into here and it will go through these series of uh, resistor dividers and then eventually you'll get an output and then you can amplify that signal and go into your amplifier or preamp or something. Um, so the math is actually really easy. Uh, you can sum it up in a simple equation like that if you were to do a 16-bit audio decoding, um, you would basically have this kind of mathematical formula. It's actually very easy to do. You can do it on paper. But anyway, so that's the kind of DAC that the, the multi-bit branding of ship products have been using. Um, so because, because they're using resistors, um, any difference in resistor values you have um, will cause distortion in the end product, which is the audio that you hear. So typically, these types of DACs have not been used in audio um, as of late uh, because of their high distortion. Um, one thing that SHIT is doing to alleviate that problem is uh, they're using a very, very precise uh, resistor ladder chip. Um, they actually use a chip that has been used for medical instrumentation. So it's a very precise resistor ladder network that will allow them to get uh, good quality audio out of these units. And there's actually been a head fire who has measured uh, the Bifrost multi-bit. And um, I'll link that in the description below. But basically, it measures really well for a 16-bit DAC. And it measures really well for a multi-bit resistor ladder network DAC. So without further ado, let's uh, get this unboxed. Right at the top, you see a bunch of foam here. There's the user manual. So I'll give you guys just a quick overview of this. Like all of Shit's products, they're um, named after things found in Norse mythology. So in this case, it's Bifrost. It's a very simple user manual, not much to it. And again, the specifications. So yeah, here's the instruction manual. So you're getting this out of the box. On the bottom, you only get a power cord and some rubber feet. And then here's the unit itself. It's got a nice uh, shit approved seal sticker thing. So you can get that open. And here is the unit itself. 
It looks very much like a shit product, very minimalistic. Uh, it's got the signature U-bend metal here. I believe this is steel. So this unit is actually quite hefty. I'd say it's about five pounds. Um, and basically this whole chassis is uh, just giant heat sink. So these products tend to get pretty warm to the touch. Uh, so yeah, here's the top. You've got their logo and their perforated holes there. On the back of the unit, we only have one output, RCA, so left and right. Um, for the inputs, we have USB type B, coaxial RCA, toss link optical, and that's it. Power input, power switch. On the front, you've got the shit logo and Bifrost. I've always liked the way their font looks. Uh, you've got a source select switch. So you can switch between USB, toss link, and coaxial. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much to it. I'm excited to give this a listen. So that is my unboxing of the Bifrost multi-bit. Oh, actually, speaking of multi-bit, the only way you can tell that the Bifrost is a multi-bit edition is um, by looking at the sticker that they placed there. Otherwise, everything looks exactly the same as if you were to buy a regular Delta Sigma Bifrost. So there you go. There's the unboxing of the Bifrost multi-bit. Stay tuned for a review.